college is telling their professors not to say the word women in the classroom, instead to use more gender neutral terms. Mount Holyoke is a college in Massachusetts and they're advising, quote, when discussing the student body, say Mount Holyoke students rather than Mount Holyoke women, and to avoid making statements like we're all women here or referring to two genders. Roaming Millennial, her name is Laura Tam. She goes by the Roaming Millennial. She joins us now to react. Thanks so much for joining us. What was your reaction to this when you heard the story this week? Honestly, I can't help but chuckle when I hear about things like not wanting to talk about the fact that there are two genders or anything to do with this non-binary gender stuff. And as funny as I think it is, and I think it is a natural reaction to kind of laugh about, the fact is that this is becoming increasingly common across campuses all over the country and in Canada as well. We have these administrators, these leftist progressives who take their own ideological opinions, their political views, and insert them into uh, things like speech codes and diversity classes. They try to codify their opinions into school policies to try to indoctrinate students. Do you think they should open the door then for any, um, any gender then? Because they're considered an all-women's school. Actually, I'm not even allowed to say women's, an all-student school. Right, and that's, that's what's ironic about this. You have this school that doesn't have gender-inclusive admissions policies, but they're trying to have a gender-neutral environment. I mean, what are they going to do when some high school male footballer decides that he wants to just go and dominate their entire sports team and decides to identify as, I don't know, gender fluid, right? I mean, because they can't be... They can't be non-inclusive and they have to accept that. So it's, it's kind of strange now that they're accepting all genders, but still not males. It